What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today is a very exciting day as I'm going to be heading out from home base, which is Edmonton, Alberta, and I'm heading out to Idaho for the Bikeman Summit. So I'm going to get a chance to ride with the rest of the Bikeman athletes and ambassadors and some big names in the snowmobiling industry. So I'm beyond excited for that. It's gonna be such an amazing opportunity. And then on the tail end of the trip, there's going to be the Out West Sled Fest going on, which is hosted by Boondock Nation. So really excited to check out some new terrain, meet a ton of new people. But before all that, I've got a long road ahead of me. So we're gonna get right at it. Gonna load up the sleds, load up the gear and hit the road. Well, I got about five minutes from home and realized I forgot my passport. I am not used to having to grab my passport when going on a sledding trip. So that did not come to mind, but I am just thankful I realized only five minutes from home and didn't forget it completely. Five minutes into the trip and I'm already turned around. <laughs> not off to a good start. so well I stopped to fuel up here in Helena Montana the truck's been absolutely fine up till now and then as I got back on the highway from the gas station I just developed this insane vibration well found my issue so rear drive shaft u-joint as you can see I lost a cap here at high speeds this starts to rattle and it is no good definitely gonna have to get this fixed well I happen to not be too far from a Napa got a new u-joint so now it's time to do some parking lot maintenance <laughs> Once again, uh, another little minor setback, but once again, we're back on the road. Here's the moment of truth as we hop back onto the freeway. And she's as smooth as a Cadillac. Thank God that drive shaft didn't decide to eject itself out here, because we are in some vast country. Some very cool sights though. Well, despite almost forgetting my passport, taking a few wrong exits, and having to change out a U joint in the parking lot, we have made it. sticking out and there's no base so let's see what happens <laughs> okay I just 
just pulled the nose over. We be able to hook up here. First line was a failure. I was free, but this log decided no. Cut that off and keep rolling. Some wicked tree terrain in here. Just gonna have to navigate the logs. We will call that my first proper Idaho line. That was fun. The snow is challenging, especially when you cross some hard ruts. There's no base at all, but a tiny bit of a crust. So when you're navigating downhill, all of a sudden you break through and it wants to just pull you into all the trees. It's, uh, it's definitely tough getting around, but some really cool terrain. And the sun is out. Just a beautiful day. No complaints.
approach. Oh my gosh. Yellow dew. Do we even have a yellow dew? <laughs> Not in our <laughs> Yeah! Woo! Let her eat! Riding it like a rental. <laughs> the RMK plow. Uh oh. Uh, I'm thinking we'll be able to just move this whole thing. Just as I go to grab some tools to help check these broken handlebars. I realized my case is gone. Yeah. Look back at my footage and it's been gone for a long time. <laughs> so the 7S is going to come in handy and do some backtrack and hopefully find it because there's some valuable stuff in there. Geez, let me get my sharp knife out. Special mount delivery. They made me put a tutu on. I see that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the map was like what the hell you should be right here yeah I, I must have lost my side panel back there well we got ryan out did some lumberjacking and then i had to absolutely plow through these trees hit another one here but i'm free very tight trees in here you just run into these areas with these little guys that is just a total dead end if there were more snow in here, those little suckers would be covered. But for now, gotta dodge them. Or plow them over. Either way works. Have you seen my side panel? No, man. I'm I've been looking on the over. ground everywhere. I can't find I it. Where the hell it would be? Oh, hey. Oh. The trees down here in Idaho grow side panels off of them. That's pretty neat. Well, at least we found it. We've been losing everything today. And I am still without a box. Oh. We had one. What was the plan there? I don't know. Thought cats can climb trees. Tree entry. <laughs>
it sucks to leave the luxury of the Boondock Nation trailer, but I'm gonna go pull off the bottom A arm on my sled and it's not gonna be so comfortable. <laughs> As we see here, we've got a nice bend. So, open the tickle trunk and let's get at it. <laughs> That's a wrap. I've got all the bolts out. So this is ready to come out, but I'm just gonna let it sit there for tonight. I've got a new A-arm coming tomorrow morning. I figured while I've got some energy tonight, get it all ready to pull. That way it takes less time tomorrow morning so that we can get back up and ride. You know what? These parking lot fixes aren't so bad. Builds character. <laughs>